Hello everyone and welcome to DFS Tutorials. I'm going to be doing DFS episodes. What does that mean? Well, it's a lot of wonderful things in the system and the more we get, the more episodes I get to do for you in case you do get stuck or have questions. So for this beginning episode, I'm going to show you how to make our simple basic tomato soup. This is a great beginner food item if you have started DFS. You start with 100 EP on your HUD the moment you start it for the very first time. EP, which stands for energy points, is what diminishes over time when tending animals and fields, pruning trees and plants. So let's get started. If you have bought the starter pack, you will find a lot of beginner items. Enclosed in the pack, you will find a stove among other items. Here is what you will get with the starter pack. This is what the starter pack looks like right here. All right, so I'm going to open this up for you guys. And what is in this pack is an apple tree. All right, a bull, black and white, butcher table, a cow, black and white, two dirt fields. Keep in mind, these are not the tinies. These are the regular size, okay? You also get a starter feed mill. You get two fertilizers to get you started. A hay bale to feed your cows. Hay seed. And you also get the Hope Cake Decor. So these are decorations. A small stove, a tomato basket, a tomato seed, a water range display, a water well, which is also starter, and a wooden trow to keep your cows from not being thirsty. All right, keep in mind, you guys, these are not transfer. All right, so you guys are pretty much stuck with this once you buy the starter items. All right. So, to make this tomato soup, make sure you have the stove res out on your land. Now, I do have a different stove that's a little bit different from the starter pack, so I like to use a little chef because I like it in different colors, so I think this is pretty, pretty nice. So, I chose this one right here. All right, and make sure you want to make sure you have a tomato basket and a water bucket, which I have right here. All right, here's the tomato basket, and here is the water bucket. The current uses for the tomato basket is four uses currently. All right, how you guys can check that is when you click on that, uses shows up right along here. It says uses four. All right, but for tomato soup, you will be using two uses. As the recipe calls for tomato basket in slot two, tomato basket in slot three. So where am I seeing these slot numbers, you ask? On the DFS HUD which is located right here. I just have it on the screen, so it's out of the way for you guys. All right, you will see care and craft. Care is up here, craft is right there. You want to select craft to open up the slot number window. All right, just by pressing that, and you will see this pop up right here. Okay, once open, you will see numbers in the circle from one to nine. This is important as items will go into the slot numbers. So let's go back to the DFS tomato soup. The recipe calls for DFS tomato basket, two of them, and the water buckets. All right, but they have numbers next to them. The numbers two, three, and eight is the numbers you will need to make the soup. So, to get this into the slot, you want to touch slot two, which is right there. All right, make sure it is red. All right, then you want to touch the tomato basket, and then select use or cook. Some recipes do have use and cook. So you want to select cook. All right. So I'm going to select cook. And there it is right there on the HUD. All right. So once clicked, it will show up on the HUD. You can also eat this item if you like and still get the EP. Please note that some foods you cannot eat. So if you don't see an eat option, you can only use it. All right. Then you want to select slot three, which is right up here. And once again, select cook. All right, and it will go into that HUD also. All right, and now we're going to go into the water bucket, which is slot number eight. All right, and there's that. And there is cook. All right, so now we got all of the HUD filled. All right, now it's time to cook it. So by the way, if you accidentally close the craft button on your HUD, you will lose the item. If you happen to put the item in the wrong slot, you can easily discard it by buying a trash can and removing the item. Or if it's in the same slot number but different item, you can just select that slot number and replace it with the correct item. All right, so let's cook our soup. 
So now we want to touch the stove until it says cooking tomato soup. Now the current time for this is eight minutes. Okay, but I, I'm wearing a booster today for you guys, so it's actually going to cut in half. So if you guys do like to cook those longer dishes that take 15 minutes or so, and don't want to wait the whole 15 minutes, that's when the booster comes into play and it'll cut it in half. So because I do have my stove booster on, um, it's not going to cook for the whole eight minutes. So I'm going to select cook. I'm going to click on my stove here. <laughs> Sometimes you have to click it twice. And there you go. Now the timer is set for four minutes. All right, instead of the full eight. All right, so and then when the item is done, you have the same amount of time to collect it. So for example, if you had did not wear the booster and it said eight minutes to cook, um, once it's completed, you do have eight minutes to collect it before it turns into a failed recipe, which we call oopsie. All right, I have next to the stove is the finished product and it is ready for use. So it is ready to um, use, cook, I mean to eat, not cook, eat. <laughs> 25 EP is right here. All right, and it is ready to, to use to put into your HUD, which actually shows up on here. So basically it starts from the red. That means you need to eat. And then the more you eat, the more it'll fill up. Okay, so and then until your, until your thing is completely full, your HUD is completely full. All right, this concludes the cooking portion of making one item out of the many recipes we have on the website. All right, I hope this cooking lesson has helped. All the recipes work the same way and is located on the website. And I am going to type in the website right here. I do have my, my window minimized. So I am going to type this up for you guys. All right. And just like that, that is the website, Digital Farm System. All right. Hope this cooking lesson has helped you guys. More episodes to come. Until next time, thank you guys for watching.